Hey everyone, I'm Lua, and today I want to share with you the ultimate guide on how to immigrate to Australia and secure a job that offers visa sponsorship. Now, let me be honest with you. Immigration is no walk in the park. It can be mentally challenging and overwhelming at times, but don't worry, we'll tackle that later on. Assuming you're already familiar with the visa sponsorship system, I won't bore you with the details of what visa is used for what. You came to watch this video, obviously, because you were in the same boat as me, where you have to find a visa sponsor. So, whether you've been struggling to find work online or you're completely clueless about how to land a job in Australia through the internet, this guide is here to save the day. Let me start by sharing my own experience. Currently, I am living in Australia on a permanent residency visa. I came to Australia in the first quarter of 2022 on a temporary skills shortage visa, which was only valid for 12 months. Then I applied for my permanent residency while on that visa. It took me a total of 11 months to go from my temporary skills shortage visa to becoming a permanent resident of Australia. But before all this happened, I spent years tirelessly applying for jobs online from South Africa with no luck whatsoever. It was frustrating, to say the least. But then I discovered the right approach and everything changed. Believe it or not, with just two emails, I received a job offer. It's incredible how simple it can be once you know what you're doing, but I won't get ahead of myself. Now let's break down the process into stages. One last thing before we begin. Please keep in mind that the information I will be giving might seem like common sense to some, but to many, this might not be the case. I am here purely to try and help those who need all the help they can get. Stage one. Gathering documentation. To kickstart the process, it's vital to gather all the required documents. Assuming you've already conducted your research, here's a checklist of the necessary documents. One, passport. Two, unabridged birth certificate. Three, unabridged marriage certificate if applicable. Four, proof of divorce if applicable. While not mandatory at this stage, the following documents are beneficial to have. One, skills assessment. The requirements for this vary depending on your industry, so be sure to research what's needed for your specific field of work. For IT, you can utilize ACS in Australia. Two, English test. I recommend opting for the PTE as it's the easiest test to master. However, it's important to note that these tests evaluate your ability to pass the test rather than your overall English skills. Three, update your bank cards. Four, update your driver's license. Remember, gathering all the necessary documentation is a crucial step in the process. Take the time to ensure you have everything in order before proceeding further. Stage two, time to give your resume a makeover. It's about time to give your resume a much needed update along with your LinkedIn profile. But hey, I'm not here to bore you with a step-by-step -step guide on how to create an outstanding resume or LinkedIn profile. Instead, I recommend checking out some awesome tutorials on these topics to get yourself on the right track. Now let's dive into four killer suggestions to get you started. One, update your LinkedIn location to reflect where you're currently job hunting. Trust me, this simple tweak will make it easier for potential employers to find you. Two, don't forget to include your LinkedIn details on your resume. This way, recruiters can dig deeper into your professional background and get to know you better. Three, here's a sneaky tip. Consider ditching your mobile number on your resume. Instead, go for an email address that ends with a .com. This small change can make a huge difference in making your application stand out from the sea of other candidates. Four, and last but not least, always keep in mind that the ultimate goal is to avoid being overlooked among the pool of foreign applicants. By following these tips, you'll significantly increase your chances of catching the attention of potential employers. So let's roll up our sleeves and give your resume and LinkedIn profile the makeover they truly deserve. Stage three, getting ready to start your job search. To kickstart your job search in Australia, I highly recommend getting your hands on a copy of the accredited sponsors list. You can easily find this comprehensive directory with a quick online search. It contains all the companies in Australia that have applied to become an accredited sponsor. 
While it's not mandatory for the company you apply to be on this list, it's a fantastic resource for identifying companies that have experience in sponsoring foreigners like yourself. These companies have invested both time and money into the sponsorship process, so they know the ins and outs of how it works. So take some time to explore this list and make the most of it as a valuable tool in your job search. It will greatly increase your chances of finding employment in Australia. Stage four, let's start looking for work. Now let's dive into the do's and don'ts. Firstly, it's important to note that we shouldn't directly apply for a job on platforms like Seek or LinkedIn. Instead, let's use these sites as tools. The reason behind this is that we want to avoid getting lost among a sea of foreign applicants and being filtered out without receiving any response from potential employers. So what should we do? We should apply directly to the company that is advertising the job or has contracted the job to an agency. By doing this, we increase the chances of someone actually reading our, reading our application, regardless of its format. Our number one goal is to have someone open up our resume and read it. Now, let's talk about three things to keep in mind. One, location. Where are you looking for work? Look in areas where most people would not want to live. This will dramatically increase your odds as you will be competing with a lot fewer candidates. Once you become a permanent resident of Australia, then you can move to the state of your choosing. I would recommend picking the Northern Territory, Darwin, Alice Springs, as this will give you the highest success rate. Two, who will sponsor me for a job? You will have to think about what kind of company and industry would be willing to sponsor you. Consider jobs that are not in high demand or are of lower pay, such as hospitality and IT. Three, why would a company sponsor someone? What's the reason behind it? They often claim that they can't find staff with those skills, but the truth is, they can't find an Australian with those skills at the salary they are offering. So be prepared for the financial challenge that comes with being sponsored. Use this situation to your advantage and keep your goal in mind. The goal is to secure a job, not necessarily the job of your dreams, because no one is gonna sponsor you to come here to work in the position you dream about. Let's begin by navigating to Seek. First, we need to choose the location. So let's switch it to Darwin NT. Next, select the profession you're interested in. In this case, I'm looking for information technology. We'll be casting a wide net here, going through all the job listings to find the perfect match. Now, the first thing we're after is the name of the company advertising the position. And guess what? We found it. It's Kinetic IT. So here's what we do next. We search the accredited sponsors list with the name of that company. And voila, we found it. So no worries about sponsorship. Now let's pop that into Google and see what we can find. All right, we found it here as well. Now let's head over to their careers page. Click the relevant link to go there. On this page, you'll find all the advertised positions and from here, you can apply directly. This is a great start, but guess what? We can take it a step further. We can email them directly. So what we're after is an email address and there it is. Now, you can send an email directly to that address and reference the job ID. By following this approach to job hunting, you'll significantly increase your odds of getting your foot in the door. This technique can be applied not only on Seek, but also on Indeed, LinkedIn, or any other job board. However, there is one potential challenge you may encounter, the question of whether you have working rights in Australia. To simplify the answer, the response is a resounding yes. You do have working rights in Australia as long as you have someone willing to sponsor you for a position. Once you have a sponsor, you become eligible for a visa sponsorship. I would greatly appreciate your feedback on whether this information has been helpful to you in your journey to Australia. Please leave a comment below as I am eager to hear from you. First and foremost, I want to express my gratitude for taking the time to watch this video. I truly appreciate your support. If you enjoyed the content, I kindly ask you to show your appreciation by smashing that like button and subscribing to my channel. Your support means the world to me.